Hi viewers, welcome to Subha's Kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make Sabudana Thali Peet. Sabudana is widely consumed during the fasting days. North Indians make many different dishes like Sabudana Vada, Kichidi, Sabudana Kheer, Sabudana Laddu and many more dishes using Sabudana. Sabudana Thali Peet is a simple and traditional Maharashtrian fasting dish prepared with sago, potatoes and crushed peanuts. The ingredients and the dough preparation is same as the sabudana vada but this recipe uses less oil as it is tawa fried. Adding potatoes and crushed peanuts make this dish quite filling. This is one of the important vrath dish for Navaratri festival. Let's take a look on the ingredients. Let's get started. We need to wash and soak the sabudana and leave it overnight. Dry roast the peanuts or use the roasted peanuts and crush them coarsely. Now the crushed peanuts are ready. In the morning, the sabudana would have been nicely soaked and becomes fluffy. If you squeeze one sabudana, you can see how nicely it is getting crushed. This is the right consistency. Drain the water and take the sabudana in a mixing bowl. To this, we need to add two boiled and peeled potatoes. Add the boiled and peeled potatoes and mash it well. To this we need to add the crushed peanuts, salt. Generally for fasting dishes rock salt is used. We can crush the rock salt and we can use it. One chili finely chopped, freshly chopped coriander leaves. Mix all of these ingredients along with the lemon juice. Knead it to a nice dough. The moisture in the sabudana as well as the boiled potatoes makes this dough really nice and soft. Then we need to make the thalipeet now. Take a zipper cover and grease it with oil. Take a big lemon sized ball out of the dough and place it on the greased plastic sheet. Now wet your hands with water and then gently pat it and make it to a circle. Yeah. Make a small hole at the center and keep this sheet aside in the same way you can use three or four sheets and make these thali pits. Now we need to shallow fry them. Heat a pan and gently drop this thali pit on the pan and add a ghee in this middle as well as around the sides of the thali pit and allow the thali pit to cook nicely. Cook it in low flame and then flip it off to the other side and allow it to cook till it is crispy. In the same way, cook the rest of the thalipet. The delicious thalipet is now ready. Serve with sweetened yogurt or plain yogurt or any chutney of your choice. And enjoy the dish. I'll meet you all soon with another interesting recipe. Please subscribe this channel for more upcoming recipes. Thank you.